Additive manufacturing is good for two things, challenging geometries and challenging schedules, or that's what big metal additive says. This part right here is an example of challenging schedules. I'm Pete Zielinski, Additive Manufacturing Media. I am at Big Metal Additives Production Facility in Denver, Colorado. They do directed energy deposition additive manufacturing, wire arc metal deposition process. They do it on gantry machine tools. They do it on robots. And it is how this projectile body was made. The U.S. Navy needs five-inch artillery rounds like this. They need lots of them. They need them fast, so fast that they can't afford the lead times that the conventional process forging would require. So this artillery body, this was made through directed energy deposition instead. It was 3D printed using a robot, then it was machined on a lathe, and this process is ready for production. One robot plus one lathe could produce six of these per day. That means a factory with 100 robots, 100 lathes, would be good for 600 of these per day. Something else, additive manufacturing takes another feature of this and makes it very easy. Uh, it's made of steel, but it requires this copper band. It's simulated here with a 3D printed plastic piece, but it requires a band of copper. Today, the forging is chilled, made super cold so that it shrinks a little bit. And the copper band is heated so it grows a little bit. All that just to slide this on and get it to fit. With additive manufacturing, way simpler than that. Print some of the part, stop for a moment, place the copper piece on by hand, and then keep going. As I said, this is an example of challenging timelines being met by additive manufacturing. We filmed another video at Big Metal Additive, and it has to do with challenging geometry produced through DED. I'll put a link to that other video in the show description.